hope my voice is not too annoying for everyone. If it is, please feel free to mute me. I've got a bit of a croaky throat for some reason. I don't know why. I don't have any major illness. It's just driving me crackers. Okay, so what I'm doing for you today is I'm using the Coco Vanilla These Days collection and I'm using a cut file that I got from the Cut To You website and um, Gwen has some beautiful, beautiful inspiration driven cut files on her site. Um, please pop over and have a look. This is not sponsored or anything. I just really love her cut files to be quite honest and I saw this one pop up and I just thought that screams dad to me because it's it I wanted to use florals obviously because I have daughters and I wanted to show you that you can use florals on a page with a dad I just thought you know sometimes we feel that we have to sort of go oh god bear with me while I do this this cut file comes fully intact. I thought I'd be a genius and cut the cut file down to suit where I wanted it on the page. So I backed the cut file. I did all that. But then I had this, <laughs> I, because I cut, I actually cut pieces out of it. So getting it to line back up again, how I had it the very first time I cut it. Photos, Karen, photos. You would think I would just take a photo, but I don't. Anyway, but I digress. So the cut file that I, I will actually put a link to it in the description. It's called Crazy Triangles Background Digital Cut File. That's what it's actually called. Um, and I think it was like $2, $2.50, something like that. So I backed the cut file using These Days Collection. Now, this is a new collection to me and I absolutely love it. Here I'm toying with the concept, do I want the stripes in the background? No, I still want the green. So I love this green, this sage looking green. I'm really drawn into these colours at the moment. I don't know what it is. It's not like me. I'm not normally drawn to that sort of colour. Actually, to be honest, I don't think I've bought very much Cocoa Vanilla stuff. It's not normally um, one that I'm drawn to, but this entire collection, I can see me using the whole lot, every bit, not one bit wasted, because I'm really feeling it at the moment. I think my scrapping has taken a bit of a, had a little growth spurt, shall we say. <laughs> um, and yeah, it's, I love it. I absolutely love this colour. So... I'm sticking it down on, so the white cardstock that you can see the stripes through there. Um, it's actually the piece that I cut the cut file out from. So you don't need to use a full sheet of white card behind it. You can do this, add a bit of washi tape to hold it down and no one sees the back. I zigzagged around the edges of it. That's what you can see me doing there. Just pulling the threads through to the back. I'm not one for the messy threads at the front very often, if ever. I pulled it up for you to see the zigzags, but I've sped it up because I took an obscene amount of time to make my mind up with things this morning. I put it down to the fact that I kept coughing. It's driving me crazy. I'm not coughing now because I'm sipping water so I don't cough. Okay. Um, so I'm just doing two black and white photos. The reason I printed these in black and white was not because they wouldn't have matched the collection. Um, it was purely because um, I just, sometimes I look at photos and think I can see this photo in years to come. You know what I mean? Like it just, I don't know. I Obviously I adored what was my daughter was wearing because I bought it. My husband, you know, I dress him, so... <laughs> But yeah, I just wanted it to be black and white. Um, sorry if my voice is too croaky. So, what else can I tell you about this collection without talking for the sake of talking? Now, the reason I keep putting that piece of white paper there is because then you can see the colours I'm working with a little bit better. 
Now I did distress the edges of the wood grain behind the photos just to give a little bit more texture. Now what I do end up doing is with the cut file, now I've backed it, I use the watercolour page, you know the bits I keep bringing back and forward, I use that one, I use the little tiny florals and the back black and white florals on the cut file. Now here I am again if this is bugging you, I apologise. I really do. I played and played and played. I had this, I, I managed to get, this is what's bugging me, okay. I managed to fit all of this on without running over the top of photos. Somehow, I backed the cut file, which makes zero difference to how the cut file sits. But for the love of God, Pete, I could not get this to sit right. It was, and it was frustrating me majorly. So I thought, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to raise the cut file up on craft foam, and then it will sit above the photos. So if it's touch, it's going to look like it's meant to be that way. So I think I figure out here. I just need to leave a piece off. Just take a piece away. I'm. For some reason, I felt the need that I had to use the whole cut file. No. Sorry if you can hear cars going past. I've got my window open because it's a beautiful day. It was raining yesterday. But today, it's so nice and cool. For Queensland, which is bizarre. But for a Sunday, it's nice and cool and it's lovely. So I have my window open. I just hope no one starts a whippersnipper or... A lawnmower or a chainsaw you know I get all the sounds around here there is a little there are a few people around me actually that are doing um, some backyard works a bit of um, landscaping if you will so sorry I have to keep sipping water if I don't sip water I'm gonna end up sounding like I've been smoking for 50 years and I'm not even 50 and yeah I don't smoke okay now these florals this is one of the I sacrificed one piece <laughs> I love the color on the back of these um, florals but I had to I had to make a decision so I knew when I bought them instead of buying the ephemera I would fussy cut because I'm I'm actually really enjoying fussy cutting I know it's bizarre for me because I, I just last few cut um, yeah probably the last couple of pages I've done there's been some kind of fussy cutting involved so what I'm trying to do here is I fussy cut almost the whole sheet um, almost it's not all of it and I realize I need a bit of tech I need it to lift up a little bit like they just look like they're stuck down so what I decided to do was curl the ends up a little bit you can see me here and there sort of just curling the ends up I'm using my tweezers so my big clunky hands don't knock everything around my hands are having a bit of an issue today so on my feet it's delightful but that's okay so I wanted to get these little sprigs on here but that just looks a bit silly so I had to sort of tuck it down a bit and then I was running into the craft foam that I've already glued down Ugh. that's what I was saying to myself Ugh. I'm sure we all do it right so what's everyone else been up to this weekend I watched the V8 and the form I watched Formula Ones very proud of myself little bit of Dan Ricardo I but V8s are where my heart really lies I love the V8 supercars does anyone else watch them uh, or am I the only female that scrapbooks and loves V8s um, I love the I love Erebus and I love I love Erebus but I also you know a bit of SVG Shane Van Gisbergen what a Kiwi legend 
man, that guy can drive. So I used to follow Craig Lowndes and I used to follow Jamie Winkup, but they have both since retired from the main game. So yeah, I'm waffling on about cars now. You guys probably have zero interest in it. But what else am I supposed to talk about while I put all my little blingy bits down? Now I'm using, I did get the sticker because it, I got the sticker pack with it, um, or the sticker sheet with it, because I love, I love words. I love putting words on, descriptive words, just randomly. I knew there wasn't a lot that I wanted to journal about. So, oh, these triangle. I bought these thinking to myself, these are so cool. They're triangle. They're different. Do you have any idea how hard it is to use a triangle, um, what are they called, enamel dot? <laughs> it's actually really hard, but luckily my brain was functioning and as I'm using triangles, I use those ones as well. So, I'm also going through this little phase. I love these little glass, they're like glass domes. These are from Uniquely Creative and they're only tiny. But they sit up and they give you depth, they give you shine, but not metallic shine. So what I'm really loving about this, and I think this, this is what I love about this Cocoa Vanilla set, is it's earthy feeling, you know, it's natural colours. Um, so I added those. Now I did use my uh, glitter glue, it dries crystal clear. And it just leaves the dome on there and there's no stickiness, no dots, no nothing. A little bit of messy scribbling around, just around my words. And that's it. So thank you so much for watching. If you stuck through with my croaky voice, I'll do a few close-ups here. Please like and subscribe before you leave. I would really appreciate that. If you want to tell a friend about my page and send them over for a quick look, I would sincerely appreciate that. I really, really would. I'm absolutely loving doing this and I'm just, I'm just loving it. And I appreciate every single comment and thought. And if there's something you would have done differently, let me know and leave it in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching this crazy little Aussie with her croaky froggy voice waffle on all the way through this i'll put everything in the description like and subscribe thank you so much see you later guys bye